So f <laughs> No I didn't mean it. That I didn't mean to say that. Welcome. Sit down, rest a while. The Nomad Project's back. It's back, it's go, it's all go. I thought, you know, I'm just putting it off at this point. I'm just putting off doing it. Like I'm putting off many things. Putting off going to the dentist. Putting off updating my website. Putting off do, writing my webcomic. Comic. Putting off doing art. Putting off emailing people. Putting off things. We're putting off things because we don't want to do them. Ooh. What do we really want to be doing with our lives? We want to be drawing and making and creating things. Free of the worries of money and, 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 and responsibilities. Living wild and free with nature. At one with yourself and your surroundings. That's what you want to be doing. But instead, you're stuck here watching me ramble on about nothing and everything. But truly, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. This took me about three hours. Um, which is kind of a, the usual amount of time that these nomad pieces take me. Anywhere from like two to five hours is probably how long some of them take. But yeah, I was really pleased with this. I was a little bit worried. I'm, I'm not totally happy with how I've um, illustrated the water. Um, you'll see by the end that it changes quite a bit. But I'm really pleased with like all the foliage and plants and lily pads. And I think it looks quite cool. I like the perspective. A good old fashioned aerial aerial perspective shot always fun to do always looks impressive um i really want to update my website with all my new stuff and my all my new commissions that i've been doing i've recently been gotten in contact with from a sort of uh, a small company that's about accountancy they want me to do some illustrations with a cow theme um not sure where that'll go but it's good eh you know take what you're given um, when you're starting out, um, but you know it's always tough working two work weeks, essentially working a part-time, you know, retail shift, and also doing part-time, full-time illustration. Um, it's tough. It's what you got to juggle, and we're all learning as we go, eh? And if anything, if anything that this political, socio-economic climate is teaching us. It's that we just got to, you know, give a shit about each other, care for one another more, and understand one another more. Anyway, enough about that. It's been really hot. Summer is here. Summer's arrived. Yeah, so due to the heat and due to the general feeling of, of, of constant work slash not putting things off slash not doing what I want, I've felt a bit of burnout. I felt a bit, you know, tired. I felt a bit like I just want to sort of sit down and play some video games for a while or or go for a walk. But then when you do those things, you start thinking about other things you should be doing. You should be calling your parents. They raised you. You should be doing your taxes. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going on about. Things are actually okay. I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling hyped. I wanted to do this while I'm in the mood to speak and talk and say things. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I've done loads of drawings. I've planned a bunch of drawings out. One thing that I've done is I've done a pixel art piece that I'm so happy with that I, I, I don't really know what to talk about when I get to filming the vlog part. Like, I'm so pleased with the pixel art piece that I've done. It's gonna, eventually I'm gonna update my YouTube channel with it, my Twitter profile with it. I think it's just a great banner. It, it would make a good banner background and I'm really pleased with it. So get hyped for that piece of pixel art because I promise you, pixel art is a coming. Always is, always on the horizon, pixel art. That's, that's, I, that's how I keep you interested. You know, I shove in this random jungle boat nomad lily pad piece, but I'm, I'm sprinkling that in a little bit of, ooh, ooh, there's going to be pixel art soon. Stay tuned. Generally and genuinely, 
I am I'm very grateful and and proud and happy with this general consistent audience I get. You know, each video only gets like a couple hundred views maybe, but the responses are always so great and positive and affirming and I really appreciate it. I get told that my my videos and attitude and, and art, uh, it has like a calming effect on people and you feel reassured and you feel positive about art and creativity. And that's crazy that I'm having that impact on you. It's a wild, wild world out there, and I kind of, I kind of, as an art, as a creator, and as someone who is taking part in this digital landscape, YouTube influencer bullshit world that's going on, I kind of ignore it all, and I kind of, ju I'm not bothered about the algorithm. I know it's bullshit. I know people are struggling. Everyone's struggling, but just to imagine that this type of channel could have the potential, even if it never happens, to become a bigger platform than it is already. That's exciting. That's cool. It's the most sort of chill and genuine and honest forms of creativity that I do. When I film these little vloggy parts while I'm doing my art, I'm just tuned into my, into my, into my stream of consciousness kind of kind of thought process. You know, sometimes when I post on Instagram, I'll spend ages just thinking up a little like caption to write with the thing. And I try and be all arty and cool and poetic. But but when I'm doing this stuff, I'm just sort of like, sup, sitting here at my desk, covered in shit. And I'm just letting you know how I'm feeling, what I'm up to, um, how life is going on on this side of the screen. Working as a creative is scary and and um, I'm kind of a bit off put by new commissions sometimes. If I'm not totally happy with it, it's like, oh, is that, you've got to like get in the zone and get prepared to like write out all the contracts, write out the acceptance of commission, get prepared to do the work. Um, so it can be, you know, it's, it's great when you find a good client, um, but but yeah, it, it can it can be it can be a tough freelance freelancing, eh? Um, yeah. So I've done a bunch of drawings. Get hyped! I've done an incredible pixel art that I'm really happy with. Not showing off, but I'm super pleased with it. I've done some fan art, as you you may or may not know. I've I've got, in my new list. There is a bunch of just like things that I'm a fan of that I haven't necessarily fully taken the time to create art for. So. A lot of it is fan art. Um, you're gonna be, you're gonna, you're gonna have a glimpse into the things that I love and I've been a fan of, and what has inspired me to create things. I'm gonna, I want to do some more sort of um, concept arty stuff because I feel like that's something I need to create more of for my comic, but also for my portfolio. Um, so I'm gonna maybe maybe make it a bit of a tutorial thing of how I do concept art even though I've done kind of that before maybe just more about general art techniques but just no more is coming I've drawn like four drawings at least that's ready it's ready to go that's four videos that's four weeks that's a month I've given myself a good amount of time to keep this going keep these weekly videos going sorry I didn't upload last week I took some time out. It's been a busy few weeks. Things are good. I'm gonna go out to the shops now. That's kind of all I had to say. Do you ever think of cool ideas, cool words, formulations of sentences, and you think, oh wow, that's a really cool thing. I really should explore that as a creative. Maybe write it down, draw something, create something, write something based on that. And then you forget it. And then that's the end. And you can't remember what the cool idea was. I completed Undertale recently. That was a fun ride. That was charming. Loved that. Also, God of War arrived. So I'm going to play some God of War stuff, uh, I think. I've been playing a lot of Apex um, Legends and also still working my way through thr uh, the Witcher Thronebreaker Gwent game. I'm going to keep on keeping on, keep on doing art. In a couple of weeks' time, I've got a whole week off my part-time job. 
So you better believe that I'm going to be doing lots of illustration then. Thank you, fellow traveler, for joining me for this little chat. It's been a good one. Much love. Now be on your way. Get going. Keep moving. Get out of my flat. <laughs> <laughs>